Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 28th of November 2021. Welcome, welcome. Uh, there's only a couple more days left, a few more days left before the end of November, and then we're in December. And uh, I don't know went but what by faster or slower, 2020 or 2021, because both years have been pretty like crappy years, except for cryptocurrencies. But for the rest of the globe, it's kind of been a been a hammer. Um, taking a look at mana. Uh, which is Decentraland. I mean, it's had some insane moves lately, especially when you go back to the uh, last week of October where it was at 77 cents and it's moved up as high as that five, over the $5 mark, close to $6 even. It's moved as high as 5.92. Uh, you know, looking at the weekly chart, there's still not a lot of data on this thing, but, uh, that you know, looking at the Tenkinsen and the Kijinsen, which are both kind of close together, you are seeing there's some, you know, wider and wider gaps developing between the body of the weekly candlestick of the weekly candlesticks and the Tenkinson. So that's something to monitor because that could be a big warning here, uh, especially if there's going to be some continued gaps between the weekly candlesticks and the uh, Tenkinson. From a point and figure perspective, on this current um, 10 cent three box reversal chart, there is a uh, a nice setup for both ends of the market. So there is a long and a short setup here uh, on this on this point figure chart, and both of them are very very strong signals. The first is a, a, a bullish breakout of a triple top. The second is a bearish catapult, and I will put those in here real quick. So on the long side of the market, the entry would be at five dollars even that would be the break of a triple top stop loss is a four box stop and that would be at 4.60 the profit target is uh, up at 7.10 and that is um based on the uh, horizontal profit target method starting with the peak of these columns here and adjusted over over this way it's like a nine period nine column count that that's based off of and there is kind of a buffer here you know depending on when you watch this there is a buffer here because there's no time factor involved with this chart style, but there's kind of a buffer between five thirty and five dollars. That is probably an okay zone to look at. You know, if you're looking at a limit entry, a buy stop, or market entry, you know, anywhere you know between five and five thirty, that'd be kind of a, a good zone to look at. Um, and then on the short side of the market, and looking at um, the short side, I already said that uh, the. I'm, it's all in black, so didn't want to like confuse them with red and green. But uh, so the black lines are for the short side. The sell stop would be at 4:30. Again, that entry is based on a um, you know a breakdown below a bearish catapult. So sell stop at 4.3. The stop is up at 4.7, and the profit target on that is down at 3.4. Hope you guys have all had a great. Um, for those of you in the states, hope your uh, uh, Thanksgiving holiday has been awesome and the weekend is pretty much over and we are going to be in December next week. And yeah, so from all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.